Hey guys, in this video we're back working on the DC5 track car. So here we're back working on the DC5 project. Um, a lot has happened since the last time, so the motor is actually in. So I'll be showing you the motor that's already in the car. Um, we're going to do some work in the back. There's a lot of parts that I've collected. But we're stuck with the motor because we need to change the mounts. The mounts were incorrect and we have the right mounts. So we'll be uh, doing that uh, later. I just want to show you guys uh, so far, the motor's in. And we're going to do some work taking the seats out and preparing for fuel system. It's been a while since you guys have last seen the DC5 on the channel. There have been a lot of behind the scenes work, but this is the year for it. We're pushing on this car. This car has to be on the road, has to be on the track in the next few months. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick walk around. It's been a while since you guys have seen the car. Currently looks like this in the new place here. Still pretty much looking exactly how it was when I bought it except a bit a bit higher going that's because uh, my old neighbor not in this place a previous place he forgot to put his handbrake up and his U rolled down and actually hit my car he did pay he did give me money for it so I have money to repair this it's all gonna get changed anyway so I was like whatever car inside here lots of parts there we go a lot of parts so we're gonna pull everything out um, now that we've got the open area here and we've also got the light so I can see everything underneath and we've got the torch as well and we're going to be pulling the back seats out preparing for the fuel system and I'm going to show you the motor as well actually I'm going to show you the motor right now the bonnet is already popped I also have this boot issue which I've got to fix the boot has been stuck a bit after I bought the car um, the boot just doesn't open I think when we started doing the swap the lock got stuck or something and yeah the boot is forever locked so let's Take a look at the motor. Okay, so with the motor, there it is there, it's all inside the car now. Now this is exactly how it was in the last video, as in the motor in the box. All the work I had done, I had put the motor and box together, the clutch, everything. So if, you have, if, if you've missed out on uh, what's been done or you want to know more about the engine setup, um, I'll have some links in the description, there's also a playlist link. You guys can just check that out and see step by step what I've done to the motor so far. But you guys can, um, if you do want to um, go look that, go look at that now, then come back to this point. So if you guys um, have already found out what's going on or want to know more about the motor, make sure to check that out. But at the moment, We've put everything together, the motor is all assembled um, and in the car. So I had bought DC5 mounts because I wasn't sure at the time how this was going to work. I'm <clears throat> sorry, how this was going to work. Because this is a K24A3 with a K24A3 gearbox. So that's the CL9 uh, slash TSX Accord gearbox, which is a six speed. Now I've got that refreshed, reconditioned, and I've also put an LSD in there, an aftermarket LSD. Um, I'll explain that or what type of LSD that's also in the transmission video, you can check that out. But see the mounts that I have here, they're hard race DC5 mounts and they're just basic mounts because I just wanted to get the motor in there running and then see what we can do like going forward because I just wanted to get it running. This was a few months ago. And then I realized that the wrong motor, um, wrong mounts, as you can see only this this one right, this is a gearbox mount, this is, this is DC5 side, this is a cord side, this bracket is a cord, look the two holes are just open like only one lined up because it's very similar to K-Series, the K-Series boxes are similar but the housing of this one is different which is why I needed those American mounts there. So I do have those mounts now and they were from US, they're Hasport mounts, not hard race ones and those Hasport mounts are absolutely cracker, I'll show you guys that later. So yeah, that was one problem and you can see on this side here, um, this doesn't really line up too. Now this does work. Um, the only reason it doesn't line up properly is because of that side and the two front. And the, there's no mount. There's nothing mounted in the front and nothing mounted in the back. So right now, this is being held by this and this. So right now you can see the motor will just... Yeah, see? Just like that. It's just spinning because it's not very secure at all. I was very worried when we towed it here. As you can see, there's one mount there. It's literally just bolted down and that's it doesn't connect to anything. 
So we're going to be moving that, getting those out, and then putting the new mounts in. So we'll need the crane uh, to lift it up and change the mount. Uh, at the moment, Zuma has his crane with his 1JZ, so we're going to hold off for that until he's ready to pass the crane back. But at the moment, I just want to show you guys that the motor is in, and um, it's been in for a while. Some of you guys already know on Instagram that the motor's in, and we just need to do some more work to get this thing running. We've got a Haltech and everything. We've got a lot of parts in the car to install. So yeah, the motor's in the car. That's a quick update of what's next. The next is these these engine mounts, which I'll open up for you. And this, um, so while we, because the motor's going to get pulled out, right? So while it's out, I'm going to quickly swap in a brand new VTEC solenoid because I said I'll do it later, you know, when it fails, but I'm going to stop that. Why should I wait for it to fail? These things will fail anyway. So I got a brand new uh, K Series VTEC solenoid for the K24A3. Um, that part number here is that. That. <clears throat> but I'll do a video on installing this. Um, it's okay. So, in today's video, the main goal is uh, just to show you the mounts as well later. And I want to take the rear seats out. Um, that's the main goal for today. Take the rear seats out uh, so we can clear stuff up for the fuel system because the fuel system is obviously going to run through the bottom and into the fuel tank which is here we need to access the fuel tank which is underneath the seat I'm not going to be running re seats in this car because it is a circuit car only the two front seats so there'll be a lot of interior removal now and in the future so yeah let's put the camera away mount you on this camera and get inside the car Just from research, I've got a Milwaukee torch here. It's pretty dark. It looks like um, I'll search that there was some bolts, but honestly, it looks like there's just some tabs that I can just pull out. It's hard to put this light somewhere, eh? Probably on the door there. Probably like this. One second, man. Yeah, so if I just pull this up, right? You know, it comes out of the tabs, but I think there's bolts at the back, so we're gonna just jump in. Camera reception there. <clears throat> That's disgusting. That is nasty. Okay. Pop this. I'm gonna put this camera away. So that's the, the receipt, the bottom. And yeah, pretty nasty to be honest. It's a lot of shit. I've never opened it or taken it out. Probably spies and shit hiding. Five cents there. But yeah, a lot of crap, which I don't have a vacuum here downstairs. I'll have to get a vacuum and collect all this shit up. Um, but those seats, I think there's bolts for that behind. So I'll have to go at the back and probably try and diagnose the boot as well, open the boot up because once the boot opens up, it'll be so much easier because it's really hot downstairs here too Can you see all the dust man? It's very dusty in here I'm definitely going to have some allergic reactions I recently found out that I'm allergic to dust mites Definitely will get some allergic reaction I better cover up I think it's 10 mil. Let's give it a check. It's these here, so you gotta pull <clears throat> pull the seats down and then this velcro strap attached to the seat. Just pull that off and reveal 
These are little 10 mils, I think. 10 mil. Yeah, 10 mil. So let's get these off. Let's see how hard they are. Very easy. Mind you, this car is 2003, and these seats have never been taken off, so very easy. So it should be really easy for you guys doing it at home. So yeah, crack them open. Um, there is two, four, and six. So six bolts to get out. So once you pull that off, I think the mounts should just come off. So yeah. Okay, so quick update, um, hot and sweaty. I didn't manage to open the boot yet, but I've got the seats out and more. Um, so the re-seats are out. Like I said, the 246 bolts. Also, the seat is bolted in to the car here. Um, just the right seat. <sighs> Let this I-30 or whatever pass. Um, actually, it's some four-wheel drive. It's okay. Um, yeah, so... That bolt was pretty hard actually, that was really stuck and it was kind of hammered too. Um, and yeah, that bolt is connected to the seat moving up and down so I had to kind of push the seat down so it doesn't move and then uh, hack it out with the 10mm. It is 10mm, the seat belts I took out, um, you can see here the seat belts, they're just that hole and that hole there. Um, I just covered it up with the same box, it's two holes so I just covered the holes up. Um, I removed the brackets for the seat because they were just hanging there so I use the impact and pop those out and at the back here I'll just open this all up um, there was all plastic around here I just ripped it all apart there it's somewhere there um, because the boot is stuck so I'm trying to figure out how to open the boot here um, we'll see how we go I'll try and figure something out with there's no battery so I don't know it looks like all electric there but hopefully I can manually just crack it open and that'll be the end of it honestly because I haven't opened the boot in a long time it's been stuck forever alright we cracked it so if your boot is stuck, right? If the boot in the DC5 is stuck, head to the back. Take off all this covering here, right? And access this part. And if, for my, in my case, this is really stuck. Like I, any other technique that I've seen didn't work. So I've just screwed this off. It was two screws, like so, one and two. Screwed it off and see this position. This position is what you'll be stuck in. It'll be stuck like this, which is locked. And it won't let you push because of this me mechanism here um, I'm guessing because I don't have a battery in this car yet and I took it off ages ago um, that it was just locked in this position but it was already locked before so I guess without the battery there's a lot of wires and cables here connecting to this so I'm guessing it's some electrical system central locking as well so um, it'll be stuck in this position pull this off and it was a bit tough but eventually I just was able to just go like so oops shit I replay that like this so that position is unlocked, so you can't open it from here. Um, don't pull on this. I was pulling this thing, oh, it's gonna open, the boot's gonna open. It doesn't do shit, it's just a locking thing. Um, and you can only open it from the outside. So you can only activate the locking system here, so that's unlocked. And now that's, so that's locked. Lock position is this in the left and this here. That's unlocked position. So now if we go and check the boot. Oh yeah. Here, bro. It's so hot downstairs here. Oh. Now after maybe two years, the boot, <laughs> the boot's locked. Hey, what the? My bad. Yeah, sorry. That's in. That's lock position. Should be in the left. Oh, it's a bit tough now. See what I mean? Sometimes it, okay, it's got stuck again. Ah, oh, back to the drawing board. Actually, it, so it did unlock for a bit, and now it's stuck there. But I don't know what is triggering that. Ah, I see, okay. Oh, I've opened it. Ah, I see. So this is the boot mechanism here. I've solved it. Look, that, I think that is, if you just push this, that opens it up. Okay. We've solved it, I've solved it. So this is lock maybe, and this one open, yeah. So now that's lock position. That is lock position. Right side, this one open the boot. Left, open. We've got it now. The left position lock. Left. Okay. Beautiful. That's amazing.
Alright, I'm just removing the, the rear bumper now because it's fucking. Because it's shit. Um, and like I said, it's been hit. So there's a lot of clips and stuff broken, probably. But I can see that there's a screw which I'm unscrewing here. There's a screw that's here, I'm unscrewing under the 10, uh, 8 mil, sorry, bolt up here inwards. So I'm just taking that out. Look at all those webs. Okay. There must be a bolt there maybe that's still stuck. I'll have to suss that out. <clears throat> so the bumper's off. We've hacked the bumper off now. Um, and hack it off. It looks sick now man, it looks like a race car now. Proper race car. There you go mate. Ready to compete. Lightweight spec. It's actually really light right now. Like um, the front was a truck but before with the handbrake off I could just go like this and one hand push it up and it would move. It's really light right now. Um yeah anyway, something fell, I'm not sure what it was, something just fell, whatever, should be fine. Oh yeah, car looks sick now, took the bumper off. Um, fix the boot. Reseats out. And we also had a bit of a solving thing with um with all these parts. With the drive by wire system, which is not drive by wire anymore. So as you guys know, K24A3 is drive by wire, but I'm doing cable for now because the DC5 base is cable. Um, in the cable system for the DC5, this is it. Very small uh, throttle body with the IVAC IAC V here. I know you guys have seen this whole video on this. I'll link that video as well. The hardware control valve and the TPS, which I have here. This TPS is the Acuity one. So, yeah, make sure you um, be careful with the Acuity TPS because that is a TPS that we have to use. It's way different to this one, but I've linked that already in the previous videos. Um, so obviously very big difference, this is 30mm and I've got a 70mm on there and the cable system is hidden in here right, there's a big bracket that covers this and I have this bracket here, um, yeah this housing kind of covers it, just smash it with the impact, it was a bit hard, tight so yeah just use the impact, smash it off with the impact and uh, yeah it gave us access to this, the cable was actually kind of stuck in here, um, you got to pull it to line up this gap here, there's a little slit. I don't know if you can see. Um, let's focus. Yeah, there's that, that slit there, you can just see. That slit, you put the cable through there and then just tap it out. And for now, I've just tapped it in. Tapped it in here. It doesn't, I think the cable is too short. Which, um, so obviously when I go to the car and press the cable, it actually moves. So that's opening the throttle body. What happens is there's a lot of tension, all right? Obviously, this system is pretty strong. Um, so when I push down, this actually uh, gets flung up. So it's going like this. It's going around because the pedal is actually really tough. So this, I believe, needs to be securely mounted elsewhere. Um, and this cable extended. So that way, it's static and just pulls like this. It, this, I mean, sorry, this stays... This part stays static and the cable just moves up and down and this is static. Because right now, when this moves, this wants to go all the way around and back to here so it actually flings up like this and then pulls down so yeah that's not bad hey not bad at all good progress today actually we've just kind of solved that um this is all will be wiring um in terms of the doing drive by i mean using cable uh, that would all be in the haltech we can sort that out good progress today to be honest we've done a lot of work 
we've got the bumper and stuff there. I know it wasn't really documented that well, but I wanted to film it anyway because you guys miss out on the little things I do because it all adds up, right? So not bad. I think to be honest that's gonna wrap it up. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort of pack up everything now, but that is what we've done today. We started again 2024 working on the DC5. This year is definitely it, man. We're close, we're very close to get this thing running. The next big hike will be wiring. You know, fuel system is part of the process. Fuel system will be just a normal process. It'll be hard, but it won't be extremely hard as wiring. Wiring will be a nightmare because, not a nightmare, but a very big challenge because it's all wiring up. I've got the old harness uh, from the K24, which you're kind of just going to mimic with the Haltech wiring that we have. And then we're going to go from there. So, yeah. A lot of work to do, but closer than ever. Yeah, inside. So, yeah. Um, probably we're gonna crack that open and then mod we've got to modify the fuel pump and stuff So we'll take a look at that another day, but yeah, I'm so happy that the boot is all clear now. Everything looks cracker We're gonna start actually looking at cosmetics as well now because we can just start collecting parts. I've been collecting exhaust parts um, Shifter parts, so I've got a short shifter and cables. So I've been collecting those sort of things So we can actually start collecting body parts too Because if we don't need to access we don't need to access this area again um, in the build so I can just find a new bumper and slap that on. Um, well, not the front because when mounting and taking stuff out, um, it's kind of difficult to want to damage a new bumper. So yeah, we can definitely tail light because that tail light is mashed. Um, we'll need to look at that. But uh, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy because this is progress. We're, we're working. We're working towards my dream. This is my dream. <laughs> this race car. It's gonna be a cracker. I can even start working here. Um, start removing some pieces that won't be here when we're on track it's all about lightweight this sort of section will be here this front bit um, will do what we need to remove but I do like this clean, clean front bit the middle will probably half it and remove it just for convenience um, half a meaning from the shifter maybe keep keep this side remove this side so the shifter is all clear make a mess around there pop the ECU there the IC7 there um, and keep that area for you know because it will be As a truck car, but I do want to drive it on the street not race it obviously I mean like you know I do want to take it out every now and then to me it's an event and I actually want to drive it there instead of towing it um, But that's you know, that's for now because obviously when this car Goes even deeper into the build um, Boosts and all that then yeah, it would be hard to drive it on the road Or we'll just become a permanent truck car and we'll have a tow car Hopefully, <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, I think that's gonna wrap it up. It was a really weird video, I guess. A lot of weird things happening, but I guess it's a compilation of what we did. Catch up this stat. Oh, I want to keep talking. I want to keep showing you guys things, but um, what else I'm gonna show you? There's no parts. I did. I say I'll show you the mounts. So I guess I'll just put that in the end. I'll guess I'll put that now because the next thing we would do is lift the motor up, change the mounts, and put it back in. So I'll give you a quick show of the mounts and then um, in the next video I'll just go through and explain the mounts properly. I like doing that technical stuff and I don't want to shove technical stuff on one video. That's why I like doing things separately. So I in the next video uh, we'll do the mounts and then probably after that as well the VTEC solenoid. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're gonna hop in, we're gonna hop between the DC5 and uh, Zuma's Cressida. So you'll see more of that and maybe the uh, accord in between I mean, usually some maintenance or um, some little upgrade on the accord we'll see how it goes and any other car that kind of pops up and comes our way so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe please we need it we need all the support i did say i'd show you guys the small mounts just a quick one it's an absolute beauty don't know if you guys can see that yes you guys can yeah, these mounts are absolutely hardcore. I'll give you a quick look at them. Let's hook you out of here. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Like these are proper hardcore race mounts. So they're um, very, very stiff. Hard, a lot of contact through the motor, but very, very strong and perfect for competitive racing um, and time attack. So yeah.
perfect straight um, street car. Now these mounts are, like I said, for K24 A3 and K24 A3 gearbox, the six speed, minus six speed LSD, custom LSD, aftermarket LSD. So these are the exact mounts I need. So this will mount the transmission and engine from a K24 A3 Accord into a DC5 chassis manual. So yeah, that's just a quick look at the mounts. And it came with all the hardware, which I'm so happy. Um, because I don't know where all these other bolts, the engine mount bolts are. So very happy that it came with all the new hardware we can use and put it together. So, that's hectic. See you guys in the next video.